Okay, guys, so if you remember from Pin Curls, you are going to do that with this one. What we are going to do today is we are going to make an extension for a wig head. Notice this is probably looks like it's not that narrow and you have eyeballs. So we're going to try and make it fit your head better for up styles. So what you're going to do is you're going to pin curl and you're going to put a, a wig cap on. You're going to make sure to pull back a little bit so that you can see the hairline right here. And you'll want to see the hairline around the ears and around the back of the neck. Okay. So first, you want to start with clear plastic wrap. Super cheap. Find it at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, buy for less. You find it everywhere. It's cheap stuff. It's good to go. And you're going to take a giant sheet of it. And you're going to go over the head one way. And suffocate her. No, I'm just joking, guys. You do not want to suffocate the person that you're doing this to. So you want to make sure to get it on that side. You want to get a bunch of it. This is going to be the base of the extension. I'm going to go this way. Make sure it gets all around the face area. And if you're like me and you have a jumbo head, you're probably going to have to do this twice as much as normal people. I normally recommend two to four pieces of plastic wrap and make sure you have extra going down around the neck and the ears and stuff because you don't want to tape that up later. So once you get it laying down flat around the ears and the forehead and stuff like that, you want to grab your tape, which mine is back here. I'm going to use my roll. We're going to turn my head into that head. Yay! Or actually, that head into my head. Yay! This is absolutely important if you're ever going to try to do ponytails or pigtails or anything like that where you're going to have to add wefting. You want to have an, a customized wig head because if you make it on a regular wig head and you add those wefts and then you try to put it on your head, you'll notice it won't stretch over your head anymore. I've done that once. It's very, very disappointing to stub a wig and completely do all that and then realize that you can't fit it on your head because you didn't use a customized wig head. Because once you've stubbed it, it's not coming out. There's not much you can do. I can't find mine, so we're gonna use a knife. <laughs> I don't know where my little feeder went. Oh, I bet it's in my box. Press stop. Okay, so if you don't have a handy dandy feeder like I don't today, you're just gonna use scissors and you can have the person that you're morphing into an alien head cut off big long pieces for you. And it's just regular scotch packing tape. Yep. Clear. It needs to be clear. That is very important because it will play a key role in other things later. You're going to want pieces about this long. Get to cut the sleeve. I'm a sleeve. You're going to place them around the hairline and down to the ears. Sorry, I just now found where it started. All right, and then, oh no, oh no. I don't want to wrap my thumb. And then you're gonna wanna go from ear to ear along the back, making sure that it's tightly fitted around the head. You are also going to want to go from the back of your neck to the front of your head and across. Eventually, you're going to be wrapping this whole thing with tape. And this is going to be the second layer of your wig head extension. I'm 
And this is a far cry cheaper than those really expensive custom fitted wig heads. Yes, they make those. No, your head doesn't ever actually change size, but could you imagine having like a person like me who puts all of their wigs on a wig head with like 20 something wigs and 20 of those like $30, $40 wig heads while they're in college? I think so. that and if your hair gets longer, your pin curls get bigger and your actual customized wig head will need to get bigger to show that. Yep. So you keep going around with this until you have kind of a rounded shape rock in. We're gonna go a few more layers. You also want to make sure that all of the plastic wrap is covered in at least one layer of the tape. The tape is stronger than the wrap and it won't tear or bend so that it gets out of whack. So to find out if you've covered all of it, you just kind of feel around to see if you find any more. We're going to do a couple more strips right here. Okay, now we're good. We are good to go. Oh, no, we need some more down here by our ears. A couple of short ones. Well, do a long one. And I'll just put it around the base of your neck. Like I said, you're going to want to make sure that you can see the hairline because what we're going to do now is where's my press, sharpie? Press stop and grab a sharpie. Alright, so now you're going to take a sharpie. I have, you're going to do a line from the centermost point of the head all the way to the back of the head and from ear to ear across the top of the head. It doesn't have to be super exact. Those are just nice placement lines. Um, Am I showing you correctly? Yeah. Well, you're down a little bit, but whatever. And then what you want to do is you want to go back and you want to trace their hairline. Everybody has a slightly different hairline. This is going to help them when they're designing the rig, also drawing their ears. Um, it's going to help them see where their scalp line is so that they can cover it when they're working on their, uh, their high done wig to make sure that they cover all of the important spots. And then you are done. If you're making a bunch for people, you can write their name on it. And that helps to make sure that everybody gets theirs. And that is step one. Now we're going to show you how to put it onto a wig head.